Yeah, my name is Pastor Gabs. Yeah, they call me Gabriel Thomas. I'm from Namibia. Mm. Yeah, the challenges that I, I came across with is a uh, limitation in ministry. Yeah, I see that there is a blockage in my spiritual life. Yeah, I see visions that and those things are not happening. Yeah, it has affected me because. I've been uh, for a long time struggling in the ministry. Yeah, the ministry has been growing since I started in 2015. But uh, this year, at, at the beginning of this year, there I saw that the ministry is not growing as it was growing. Yeah. The experience today, it was very different because today I get an opportunity to sit with a man of God. Yeah, and uh, it, uh, by the grace of God, the man of God prophesied to me exactly what blew to me here. Yeah, the man of God said, you are called, but you have only one problem that is disturbing you. Yeah, you are a man who love man of God, you love pastors, and it is true. I'm a man who always love pastors, praying for pastors. Many pastors come to a church, young pastors, elder one, but he said I must stop it because many pastors they are sent to come and attack me that is i discover that is is true because out of this sometimes i used to see strange things start to happen even to the church yeah many some people after i meet with these pastors some people they started even leaving the church yeah so i really thank god for the prophecy and the liberation that i received from the man of god uh, Amen. 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 I'm very much excited, and I know God has done it through the Apostle of God. Yeah. Uh, yeah and uh, it is my first time even to fall down by the anointing. Yeah. The, the, I, I have been. When I visited different man of God, but I never felt the power as I felt here. Yeah, so I know that God has done it and it, it is well with my life. Yeah. Any child of God, pastor, a prophet, wherever you are. Yeah. Mm. Deliverance is needed to each and every one. Yeah. So deliverance is a gift from God and it is there to shift us to another level. And the children of God... Wherever you are, you need deliverance. Everybody have to be delivered. Jesus Christ came on earth so that he can deliver us. So visit a man of God, it be a prophet or a pastor who is gifted in conducting deliverance so that everything in your life can be open. So me, myself, today, I'm a victim of deliverance. I'm delivered. I'm free, and I know if your pastor is not delivered, you also as a child of God, as a member, you will never be delivered. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Mm. And viewers, keep watching Charlie's TV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Moon Ayub, and I'm from Scotland. And my sister is Kellen. Uh, she's as, uh, she came from Scotland as well, came together, yes. Uh, the challenges that uh, made me to be here is because of my, my family, uh, deliverance and uh, stagnation, life not moving on, and um, not receiving what God has, you know, has given us. And we could uh, sense that there is a blockage somewhere, but uh, when we... We've been watching the man of God, and we connected with him, and my sister said, this is the place to be. So that's why we are here, to receive the breakthrough. Yes. I have gone uh, through many challenges and uh, family crisis. Nothing goes, uh, we don't have any breakthrough in our families. Both of us, we are, we are sisters in Christ, and we come from the same area, but nothing nothing we can say nothing good comes from us and we are very hard working and we love god so much we seek god we pray we go walking and we do everything but as she has said i always get attached with the men of god who are really called and when i saw uh, jb makananisa 
we said that we are going to come one day and one day came on Sunday and we, we came on Saturday night and now we are receiving and God has opened our breakthrough is going on and the prayers are going on and we are receiving and also can I and also, man of God, Makananisa, spoke to us, especially that through our struggles, especially that Saturday, we were meant to come because there were so many obstacles. Uh, the message that uh, he spoke on that Saturday, he was speaking to us everything that we are going through, and he said, I can see you. I can see what you are going through. You are trying to, to even to pay is not going through. The money, what? But he said, the moment that you have you know, you are setting to come here. The moment that you put your feet through that gate, you know your breakthrough, you have it. So we have to struggle because violence take it by force and we have to be violent so that to come here and take our blessing by force. When we are going to Scotland, we'll be singing new songs. Yes, uh, it was just wow and amazing. And to see, you know, he is very keen as well to listen. And even before you say, he's telling you, you know, what you are here for. So he can see the problem and the challenges that has brought you here. And that's how you get to know you are the right place. Yes. And love. The love of God was over, is overwhelming. And even getting a chance to sit down with a man of God, the only me, I know myself, I'm very simple. But he is really a man of God. And whatever he said to me and my sister, is true, hundred and one true. We have really suffered, but he has seen everything and he said that more is coming. He will tell us more. That even when it became hard for us to come and we said whether we have money or not, this is the time we have to go to South Africa. We tried even paying the ticket with our cards and the money won't go through. And we said we are going to start farm and we never died the heart the heart were strong and we were waiting for the day to come and meet with the man of god whom we met today and we are very very grateful to god and we are very thankful to god it was amazing experience and i would say it's a it's god for us god for us even to give us that chance because not everybody gets that chance that opportunity um i will just appreciate god and bless uh, the man of God, yeah. I release the anointing upon you. Amen. Take it now. Amen. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Take it. Hey, hey. Take it. Jesus, come on. Jesus. Amen. The tears of joy and dancing. Actually, well, I could say I, was, I, 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 I just felt like to stand up and dance because when the Lord sees you through, He gives you a new song. And I was feeling this new song and I was just feeling to dance because uh, my breakthrough, I have it already. I thank God. Yeah. When He prayed for me, I felt tinglings in my body and I felt I was moving by the power of the Holy Ghost. The, the power was too much and I, I, I believe that I am delivered. Amen. You know what, people all over the world, if you have the problems that you cannot solve yourself, know that the devil is a liar. And remember, God is there watching you and you watch upon the Lord and you wait upon the Lord, but you must wake up and walk. You make a step and come like the way we came to South Africa to Charlie's ministry, uh, min, uh, uh, mi mi ministry yes. and come and meet with the man of God. 
he will tell you everything. If you have a problem, sicknesses, anything that is disturbing you, don't sit back and die and, and, and go down. Come and receive yourself the way we have received in Jesus' name. Uh, for me, I would uh, encourage them that uh, there is still hope. And the word of God says that uh, signs and wonder, they follow those who believe. So you have to get up. Don't just sit where you are. You have to get up and you commit your ways and steps to the Lord because the Lord will guide you and will take you to the right place. And the right place is here in South Africa to charge his ministry. This is, I see this as if it's the, the 